Can we even get open them? Open them. Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I'm here with my tiny T, co-host of the year. And she had made a request. She saw me doing a little bit of a snake update video the other day and was like, hey, how can I be part of that, right? <laughs> this is you, T. You get to pick which snakes we're gonna show off in today's video. And ooh, also, before this video is over, I found something really interesting in our front yard while I was raking out the space where the garbage cans park on the side of the hill. I found something kind of cool. You haven't seen it yet, but we're gonna show you and them before this video is over. All right, so what do we want to show the people first? Princess. <laughs> Princess. Princess is our pied, obviously, as you can tell by the pattern, 100% het clown that we actually produced here at Triple B back in 2017. So she is about, how, how old is she then? It's 2023, that's 2017. I know, that's a lot of math to try and figure out in your little tiny five-year-old brain. It makes her six years old. Actually, she turned six years old last month. Wow, and she actually hashed out a really cool clutch, something that some of you guys are already in the snakes from. Um, this clown pied clutch. You want? Should we check out Princess's grandma? Yeah. You're, you're right. This is the queen. I messed up. A, she's deep in shed, so it's not a good time to show her because she gets really dark when she's in shed like this. But she's Princess's mom, obviously being the queen, right? My bad. But she is the grandma of the snake that we did an update on this past Wednesday in the Cusco Uncut video. So she is a grandma, just not to the princess. She's princess's mom. The queen, deep in shed. What do you think, T? She's beautiful now. Yeah. Whoa, look at this orange on her. Look at this little spot on her tail. Wow, that's so cute. Why you go to my hand? Do not even think about it. Ooh, I know which snake you want to show next. Chocolate. Ah, <laughs> see? Chocolate. <laughs> Bye, chocolate. Chocolate. Oh, you got a babe, girl. What? Isn't her gender a girl? Yeah, yeah, but I just, I didn't understand what you said. I said, she got big girl. Oh, you got big girl. It sounded like you said, oh yeah, big girl. She looks like she's ready to bite something, doesn't she? Yep. I think you need a feed her. Mmm, I just fed her the other, whoa, I just fed her the other day, crazy chocolate. <laughs> she is definitely a striker. Chocolate hey. is definitely a striker. You want to hold her? No! <laughs> Come on, this is your favorite snake. It's chocolate. <laughs> she's a little bit, she's a little bit crazy. <laughs> She'll calm down in a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, chocolate. You're going full doofoo. Chocolate. Here, just hold her. There you go. I'm holding her over the table so I can't drop her. Come Before. here, you! <laughs> Come here, you! Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Stop it! Stop it! She's messing with the buttons! Stop! Come <laughs> She's gonna stop the recording. You gotta stop her, T. Stop her! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Hey! Stop! Right, just get her back up. Get her back up. Yeah. Get her back up. I'm ah! <laughs> she bit my finger! <laughs> there. <laughs> You do for that and she's going to do. Do you wanna you wanna show a, a different snake? Cho chocolate is a one hundred percent het pied and we finally kept a snake after her wanting to name a hundred thousand snakes chocolate. It's like okay, we'll keep one and actually have a chocolate of our own that stays here. <laughs> Yay, chocolate! She's uh she's actually a really good good snake. She's gonna make some beautiful babies. What will her babies be called? Chocolate! <laughs> This is, this is your video, T. You asked to make this video, so it's all you. You dictate what happens next. Oh, Violet. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, Violet's so pretty. Violet is pretty. Our purple passion, uh, Mojave Phantom. 
And actually, you know, Violet turns nine years old tomorrow. <laughs> She's had several very successful clutches here at Triple B and yeah, she's a she's a favorite. She's a she's a crowd pleaser. All, all the little kids that like to come over and hold snakes over here, Violet's one of the favorites to take out and hang out with because she's. Where did you find Violet? <laughs> I actually uh, I purchased Violet. I didn't find her. I actually got her from Freedom Breeder. Oh, what type of snake is she? She is a purple passion ball python. Whoa. Which is a ball python that has phantom and Mojave. But she's not purple. <laughs> We we snake breeders like to see colors in our snakes that aren't there. Oh, he's a little purple. Yeah, that's see, that's all it takes. Just a little tiny hint of any of that color, and we go, look, that snake's green! It's blue! It's red! <laughs> and they're really just basically different shades of brown. <laughs> Ooh. I know what snake we could show next. Your older brother may not be super happy about us sharing it without him, but we could. Pumpkin! Pumpkin! Pumpkin actually looks like a... Pumpkin, a white one. Pumpkin does actually look like a pumpkin. She's a pumpkin pied, yellow belly pied, female. <laughs> it's one of the snakes we rescued um, from Grant. How and, did you rescue her? Well, they couldn't keep them anymore, so we, we they looked to us to take the snakes from them mm. and keep them for them and keep them, give them a good home. Where did we get every single one of these snakes? Lots of different places, T. Lots of different places. We got a handful from Freedom Breeder, but they're from, we got them from all over the place. Found a lot on Morph Market. Where did we, like, get our dog? Our dog? <laughs> we found him, uh, in the toilet. No, we didn't! <laughs> I found him in the toilet yesterday. No, we Bad dog! <laughs> if you, you can only show one more snake, which snake would it be? I think it would be a snake that has babies. A snake that has babies? But we don't have any snakes that have babies right now. We have a lot of snakes that have had babies in the room, but none of them have babies with them currently. I can see some babies. How about we'll end with where we started. And this girl is actually available. This is a pied, regular pied, not inchy pied, because we do have a few inchy pieds as well. Female, 100% het clown pied. This is one of Princess's babies. So one of the queen's grandbabies. Very good looking. Ready to make some more clown pieds. Somebody will be with this girl. Princess, princess's babies have a grandma. Yes, and that's the queen. Yep. IT, should we show them the thing that uh, I found out there in the rocks in the garden? Can we need to open them? Open them. What is that? <laughs> What is it? I believe it's called a glass lizard. So it's, it's a legless lizard. So it looks like a snake, right? Yeah. But it's actually a lizard. And we actually have these. They live in our backyard, but they're usually buried under stuff so you don't see them. So if you start digging a little bit, you can find them. Yeah. Uh, and I'm glad we still have them because the chickens like to eat them a lot. But this one, it was sneaky enough to not get caught by a chicken. And look, it's pooping a little bit. Gross. We should give it some food. So I th they eat little bugs. So you can see he's trying to burrow in my finger. And you could tell it's a lizard because of well, kind of the head shape, but also because there's actually, if you look really, really close. Daddy got the poop on I you. know, there's poop on me. Man, this guy's really just trying to burrow, burrow, burrow. They're, they're such diggers. They like to dig, they like to burrow. But super cool to find them living in our front yard, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway. Oh, now there's poop on my finger, T. <laughs> I love getting poop on my finger. <laughs> well, I think we should probably let this guy go back out in the yard. You want to do that? No! No? We're, we're definitely letting him go. We're not, keep, we're, not, <laughs> we're not keeping him. He's going back to the front yard to live out his little legless lizard life. But I thought they were, like, way bigger. Well, they can get a little bigger, but they don't get too much bigger. Super cool, though. A lot like a snake, but it's a lizard! All right, everybody, thank you for watching today. Um, hopefully, we get to see a lot of you guys at Animal Con today and tomorrow. Um, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.
This last place I found a uh, blind snake actually in Hawaii was right under the trash can. So it's interesting, this type of species, you know, Hawaiian blind snake, the one I found by a trash can, but this type of species likes to hang out by trash cans under it a little bit. Come on, T, over here. Let him go, let him go over here. So he can get smashed by a trash can. Good job, T. Guys, Good job, T. Good job, T. Good work for the day. <laughs>